if you're watching the video, this isn't for dramatic effect. This is just the power went off, and it's been off, and I really would like to have this conversation and get this video out. So I have my bike light here, and, and that's what's going on with the lights. Um, I want to have a conversation about being able to find meaning in life without God as a reason, without a, a God, whatever God means to you, it doesn't have to be a Christian God, or, you know what I mean, like, trying to find meaning without that. Uh, I had a conversation, I don't know how many months back now, it, it, it was somewhat similar, but not similar enough that doesn't warrant having a separate one, um, about, like, uh, morals are found at church, I think is what I called it, and just talking about how obviously, like, that's, that, I mean, there's a linkage here, and that's, you know, like, your morals and, and your, your standards, your principles, all those things that would make you a, a, hopefully a good person, or what you believe to be a good person, or a civil person, whatever you want to call it, uh, have some people feel like that's guided by, uh, organized religion, and that was my, you know, conversation then and this kind of jumps off of that in saying that you do not I do not believe you need a higher power in order to find meaning in this life in order to create meaning and have a meaningful life I feel like this conversation is going to go by super quick but um, I it's I guess it's difficult for me to say if I feel like it's saying that it's wrong is the wrong phrase I don't, I don't feel it's needed, and because it's not needed, it feels like a crutch. If you, I, I, even if you were, okay, put it this way, even if you believe in a higher power, even if it's just energy, right? Like, I believe in energy, I believe, you know, that the higher power is just energy from cosmic sources, whatever, and that's, you know, still believing in a higher power, or believing in, like, the Christian God, and Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and the Trinity, and all this stuff. You, even if you're, you know, and everything in between that believes in a higher power or a god, a figure, whatever, um, I believe that even if you did believe that stuff, cool, cool beans, but you could still find meaning in life without that. I don't think that that a god or a higher power gives you meaning. Now, that might trip people up if you believe that that higher power gave you life, but even if there's people that believe in the Big Bang and believe that th there is still a higher power which is called energy and they find ways to worship energy and they believe that that is the meaning of their, or not the meaning, that is the uh, the means that they were created by, but they find meaning in life like separate from, you know, worshipping energy or worshipping a god or whatever. Um, I, I definitely believe you can, you know, believe in higher powers and still just like you can still have morals that have nothing to do with that no one's you shouldn't have someone tell you you know the golden rule that that shouldn't be something that you know like empathy and all those things um different people experience them different understand them different feel them different because of our chemical makeup and because of our experiences there's nature and nurture both going on i believe to to create empathy in a person at different levels of empathy um, and so I, I just don't, yeah, to me, I don't attribute that to organized religion or religion in general or, or a, a god or a figure like that. Um, and, and just like that, I also don't think you need to attribute the meaning of life, of your existence, to a god or something like that. People, you know, the joke being that, you know, philosophers of all time and just that, that old handy joke of, like, searching for the meaning of life and whatever else, I mean... I think simply it is to just live it to your best ability. That's that's the only way you can find meaning in, in life. It, it's, you know, um, if you were a philosopher or, or whatever, a great thinker, a great mind that sits down, you know, at his desk and reading books and writing and that's all you ever do and don't have experiences outside of that, but you're searching for the meaning of life with all these texts and, and you know, and, and thinking and these are great thoughts and, and it's not like, it's not like endeavoring to search for meaning is useless. That's not what I'm saying. But I'm, I'm just the joke would be like that that person right there who's that's all they're doing with their time. They're not experiencing life. They for therefore they are they themselves are um not really going to find the meaning of life because I believe that that the meaning is simply to just live your best life. 
uh, to be basic about it and pull out a basic quote, live your best life, live life to the fullest, whatever, YOLO, like all those phrases. I mean, those cliche stupid phrases, but I believe that, you know, this is why I, and this is a me thing and why I value lifelong learning, critical thinking, like always moving forward, like all that stuff that I really value because I believe that is the, the, the point. That is what you should be doing is self-improvement all the time. That's what I value in a person. So people that don't do that, I don't believe they're fulfilling any any purpose. Like, what is your purpose? If you want to say that every individual has a purpose, and I don't, I don't believe that in like a um, like a karma, like karmic sense of like every person has this very specific purpose, and you're here to do this thing, and you're squandering. No, I just feel like the specific thing you're here to do is just to to grow and learn and be the best person you can be, the best you that you can be, if that's your, your function and you're not doing that, then yeah, you're not achieving your purpose. But I don't think there's a specific, like, I was born to be an astronaut and you are the next president of the United States. Like, I don't believe in that kind of destiny uh, for, for a single individual. That doesn't, I don't know, I might be proved wrong eventually, right? Just like I could be proven wrong about other things and the eternal life and who knows what else. I, there's many things that I'm open to in the agnostic sense, or I think that's the term I want to use here, um, of just like, I don't know. Like, I just don't, it's not, it's not even like a, it, it's almost like a disbelief by default, because I just have no way of knowing. I just don't know, and so I can't kind of roll with that thing, and I just roll with the, the default of like, I, there's no evidence of the fact that there is an eternal life. There's no way for me to know that, so I just, I don't think there is, but I don't necessarily have a strong belief in the opposite, that I'm like, yeah, I'm just in the dirt, and that's it, biological process ends, there's no spirits, like, I, I'm very open there, but I don't think anything is going to ever sway me in this lifetime to believe one or the other, I'll find out when, you know, my uh, mortal body ceases to exist, and maybe there's more than that, I, I really just don't know, anyway, yeah, I, I just, it's, it's interesting where people are looking towards something for meaning, when I, I, to me, it's just so, so innate, like, how are you not built with that meaning already of just, like, and that's an interesting thing, that I guess we aren't, like, people, humans, individuals, we're obviously not all created equal, far from it, we're all individuals that have unique, uh, you know, chemistries and DNA and unique experiences, the nature and nurture parts of everyone is completely unique, no, no one person is the same, and even if your experience, you could say, was exactly the same as someone else's, let's say you're a twin, you know, and you grew up in the same household, and, like, you're never going to be exactly at the same place at the same time every second of the day. Well, even, even if you're a, uh, I don't know what the proper word is, I think Siamese twins kind of out as a term, but if you're a twin that's attached to somebody, you know, like, um, you know, you, you still aren't sharing, you know, your feelings, your emotions, so even if you experience everything the same, you still have a little bit of a different chemical uh, makeup that would make you feel things a little less the same, it would be different, anyway, uh, I, I just feel like that, it's just an interesting thing, that, that we aren't just immediately, for the most part, as human beings, um, I mean, that's what separates us from animals in a way, too, like, having a conscious, uh, being aware of ourselves, not just simply reacting to stimuli, like, we have an opportunity for critical thinking, which is what I love about, about us, that we have this opportunity to think about the experience we just had and choose to do something different rather than just reacting to stimuli, reacting to stimuli. Like, I'm hungry right now, but I don't need to go eat. I don't need, like, it's not like, hey, I'm hungry, let's go eat. Like, it's like, oh, I can wait a little bit. I'm going to plan my day around this, that. Like, there's no, just like, that we, have an op we have a filter that is our consciousness, right? So, um, we create meaning. It's just interesting that we don't have this, again, like this innate instinct for what our meaning is. I think a lot of people have like, oh, my, my purpose in life is to create more people. Like, animals, you know, have that instinct. Um, but we're finding, I think, more and more statistically that that certain groups of people are deciding more and more to not have kids for certain reasons. Because it's, it's it, either it's, I mean, part of nurture and, and, and um, the information that we have and intelligences and stuff like that, different forms of intelligence are telling people that we we don't need that. Like, that's not an instinct that I need to fulfill. Um, I, I think that's a trend that we can see in at least, you know, um, 
North America and, and some other places too. First world countries, I guess let's just throw that out there. Uh, that, 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 that culture shift has been happening lately in the past couple decades. Um, especially the last, like I think, five years. But this whole thing is just about meaning of life and not me telling you what the meaning of life is. That's not where I intended to go with this, but I guess that's where I went uh, with my belief of that. But it was more of just like, why do you need to have someone tell you what it is? Let alone someone that may be non-existent. Your belief and your faith in something doesn't mean that it exists and someone's words that you find or, or words or whatever that... You know, I was trying to dance around the things. I'm not. I don't want to get into the the existence of God right now as a as a thing. But even if God was, like I said, even if God was was real and, and there was faith there, and you know, you can still separate that belief from you finding meaning in life without that instruction from anybody else. Um, <clears throat> like you would have your own sets and values and principles outside. I would hope of religion, outside of of them saying these are the Ten Commandments and these are these other rules and this is like advice we give you. Um, this is what you know the spiritual leader says. Even if you followed all those to a T, I think outside of that you could still have your own thoughts. There's room for you to have your own thoughts and opinions and feelings and emotions and whatever else that that aren't instructed by somebody else. For and hopefully that even if you had those instructions, you would think critically. Uh, I just feel like it's really interesting because I can't find any other meaning that makes sense to me of, for my existence other than to just use it. Like, it, it's almost acknowledging, like, hey, maybe there is no meaning, and this is what I'm going to do with the fact that I'm here. I'm not, I don't want to squander this. I don't want to ruin this. I don't want to waste my life. I don't want to waste this opportunity that I have. If life is an opportunity, well, opportunity to do what? Some people say, you know, my purpose is to serve others. Okay, that's your purpose. That's you being productive. That's you learning and growing. That's you moving forward, and, and you are you have a specific cause. I mean, and, but that is still, I, I don't really believe in uh, uh, altruism, really. So I still believe you're, you're growing and learning and you're doing all this for yourself, even if you're putting your, you know, your Mother Teresa or whatever, and I mean, she's controversial too, but whatever, um, just as a touchstone of, of, of what I'm talking about. People who commit their lives to charity and the service of others, and that's great and beautiful and wonderful. Um, but I still believe, like, it's, yeah, it's it's a thing. Um, finding meaning isn't something I've really ever had to struggle with. It was just like, hey, I'm here, and I just do stuff, and I want to do stuff to the best of my ability. And I think... I don't know when that kicked in, some sometime in my 20s, I guess, because as a teen, I was just I was just here. I was basically like an animal just reacting to stimuli. Like, I still had a filter. I could still criti critically think sometimes. Uh, I still gave myself opportunity to, you know, I still had choices. The choices were mine. And obviously, as a small child, it's almost like you are reacting to stimuli. You have this need, and, and you want it now, and you, and you try to communicate in the only way you can to get that thing, and then other people try to give that thing to you, and whatever. Um, so... Looks like the lights just turned back on, or the power did. So anyway, uh, but you know, this is just the formation of, of an adult, you know, like um, generally, generally with, uh, what wording do I want to use now? I, I can't recall the wording I was going to use. But people that, uh, of cognitive ability, uh, that is what we see as the, the norm or the average for an age group or whatever, um, that... That there is an evolution of, of progress and maturity within the mind and ability to make choices, ability to think critically, all that stuff. So I don't know when that's a thing. Like I don't know when it just it was it was a very natural shift that I was like, okay, this is I don't remember thinking of it that way. Like, hey, what's the meaning of life? This is the meaning of life. I only thought about it the other day. Like listening to a podcast and I was like, Oh, yeah, you that yeah, okay. Like I just kinda clicked into what my what I feel my purpose is, um, and it's just to be the best me. Like, I don't even know what else there is. So with that, we'll see you in another time.